How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to be going over iOS 7 for beginners. Uh, I kind of want to go over uh, the new operating system uh, that was just updated. Uh, Apple has made some changes um, to how you use it, some drastic changes. So I want to just go over the things that you need to know that are going to help you use it a lot easier. Um, so you can just enjoy your phone. Okay, so first things first. Um, uh, this iPhone I'm using, uh, there's a, a problem with the with the, the home button here. So whenever I need to press the home button, I tap this little guy right here, and I just tap it like that. So if you ever see me do that, that's not this is not a feature of iOS 7. This is because of the phone that I'm using. Okay, so just kind of a, a disclaimer. All right. So first things first, Apple has added a new feature, which is called um, Control Center, and basically you start from the bottom and you swipe up. And it brings up this menu, and so the the cool part about this is now, if you ever need to like uh, turn on your Wi-Fi or uh, maybe connect to Bluetooth or uh, different things like that, you don't have to go to the settings in general. It's just one step. You just swipe up, and there it is. And when you're done, you just swipe going down, and it's gone. So just to kind of go over what's in here, this is airplane mode. So if you get on airplane, one swipe up and tap that, and it will disable your Wi-Fi, uh, mobile data, uh, Bluetooth, 4G, all that. So you don't have to uh, do that with the, uh, you know, with more steps. Also, um, uh, if you want to turn on your Wi-Fi, it's one step. Now you just tap right there. Now when it's black, it means it's off, and when it's white, it means it's on. So if I tap it again. It's white, now it's on and up here, it'll say Wi-Fi on. It quickly says it right here. And then, um, you know, that's how you know you're connected there. We have our Bluetooth here. We have uh, Do Not Disturb, and what this does is um, it makes it so that if, if anyone, um, if anyone tries to like send you a text message or tries to call you, then the phone won't make noise because it's your and do not disturb. So uh, that's great for at night if you want, don't want to be bothered by your phone making a lot of noises. This is called uh, screen lock or rotation lock. And what this does is when you tap it, your phone, uh, so when it's on, your phone is locked in that position. So if I try to turn it sideways, it will not rotate. Okay, but if I turn this off and I rotate the phone, the phone will rotate uh, sideways, especially if you're looking at a picture or a video, that's where that's most helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Next, uh, right here, we have our uh, brightness. You can adjust the brightness real easy, just like that. Okay. And then we also have a quick shortcut here to launch iTunes or launch your music. So when you hit play, It'll pull right from whatever is in your, uh, whatever the last song you played, it'll start playing it right from your music, right from your iTunes. And this is, um, yep, it's just starting to play right now. Let me pause that so that won't play. Uh, this is your volume, so if you want to turn your volume up and down, it's all from here. And then down here, we have a couple of shortcut apps. We have a flashlight, so if you tap that, it will initiate your flashlight. We have uh, the compass right here calculator and camera so this is all again called control center and literally it's activated just by you swiping so we swipe up and there's your camera boom or your calculator if we tap calculator it'll launch right up just like that okay and then let's go go, and go back back to home again that's not an iOS 7 feature right there so that's the first thing I wanted to show you which is uh, control center the second thing is um, if you guys remember um, you used to be able to hit your home button when you're on the home screen and then it would take you to a search menu where you could search different things on your phone well it's no longer you no longer get there by pressing your home button what basically what you have to do now is anywhere on the screen you just you just uh, put your finger on the screen and swipe down and it brings up that search automatically and if I just tap the screen again it goes away so I could be on any one of my screens I could be here and I just swipe down and there's the search okay so again the the important thing is that it don't tap if you just tap straight down it's gonna open whatever app you're on so you're not tapping you're just swiping down You see that one more time swipe it's one motion it's not tap swipe it's just whoop just like that okay 
and that will launch your search and I could from here type in like Domino's because I have a Domino app let's see if it comes up and then from here I can look at um, how it, it will search my phone so it's going through my contacts my notes my mail um, it did not pull the Domino app that sucks but anyway so that's how you get to your search option to be able to search different things that are on your phone okay the next feature um, which is not that new and we've actually already had it but I just want to show it anyway is a, a notification center and that's when you swipe all the way from the top down and so it does have a bit of a new look now but um, it'll show you everything from your calendar your stocks reminders and you can change all this in the settings but you can look at today you can look at all you can look at missed um, so all those different things are options um, and then when you're done you just swipe back up and you're done so all at the top swipe down there it is let it go and remember if you're in the middle of the screen if we swipe down there's our search and then if we swipe from the top from bottom to the top there goes our uh, notification our uh, control center the next thing is um, basically how you um, how you look at your running apps uh, has changed dramatically and so basically what you're going to do is double tap your home button which is basically just press press twice and it will bring up your multitask I have to do it from here because of my the condition of my home button is stuck so that's why I can't do it from there but the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna just hit this twice and it will bring up your multitask I'm gonna do it from here this is just a an on-screen home button okay and uh, there it is so this is this is what the screen looks like now when you want to see your running apps so uh, there's the home screen and then I have calculator settings calendar stocks photos these are all the apps that I currently have running okay so if you want to close out any of these apps here's how you do it you're gonna be you're gonna basically swipe up and when you swipe up it gets rid of it let's see if you can swipe down swiping down does also work so if I swipe down it actually does not work so that's good to know you cannot swipe down you have to swipe up and that will close out that app for you one day I hope Apple does add a feature where you could just hit one button and it close all your apps Android has it for some reason I don't know why they have it integrated into the new iOS 7 but that's neither here nor there so we just swipe up and this is how we close all of our running applications okay and let's say we didn't want to go to the so let's say we wanted to go to the calculator we would just tap on that and then it would take us right there okay so those are those are the main differences of iOS 7 and this is kind of just a hopefully a little intro to help you use iOS 7 better so again just to do a quick recap the first thing that we did go over was uh, control center which is swiping from the bottom and swiping up and those are all our control center applications uh, by the way if you have an Apple TV and you wanted to mirror something from your phone your uh, airplay button excuse me your um, uh, your mirroring option would show up right in this section I don't have my Apple TV on so it is not showing up but that would normally be in this section right here okay so that's up there we swipe down um, if we in the middle of the screen if we just swipe it will bring up our search now the only way that for that to work is you have to be on the home screen you, you, if you're an app you just try to swipe in the middle it's not gonna do this you have to be on this screen which is the home screen so there's that there's swiping down from the top to see our notifications and there's also when we double tap on the home button it will show us all of our running apps and then we have an opportunity to close those running apps okay just like that all right <coughs> excuse me hope you guys did find this helpful make sure you give a like and thumbs up if you did find it helpful share it with anyone that you know that maybe is having a little trouble with iOS 7 it's a little bit different it's new they've innovated some things and so just to make sure you're able to use it more efficiently this is kind of what you need to know uh, to uh, operate that 
All right, so I hope you guys again found this helpful. Like and like the video if you're not a subscriber. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I am going to be doing some videos on the new iPhone 5C as well as I have ordered the iPhone 5S in gold. So definitely look out for all those videos. Um, and I'm, I'm going to keep them going so you guys can be well informed on the new iPhones and what Apple is doing with them. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching and have a good one.